guys, Mix here. Today we're working on my dirt bike. If you guys saw uh, driving 300 miles uh, to get this dirt bike, uh, you guys saw that the uh, valve cover is off. I just put that on. I didn't bother recording that because, you know, I don't think I thought it'd be kind of boring. But what I want to do is uh, go inside the carburetor and check it out, see how, if it's all dirty, and see if maybe that's why it's not starting. It used to run, and then all of a sudden one day where I was running, it just turned off. So uh, it hasn't started since. So. Let's see if we can fix this. First thing I have to do is uh, just take off this bolt for the uh, little bracket where the intake tube is. So now with the intake tube off, I'm just gonna loosen up this one just so I can tilt the carburetor towards me and so I can see under it. I'm just gonna take off both bolts just so I can really see inside of it. So this is what I went meant when the choke was broken. It would, it would be like that and the uh, lever that controls the choke right there wouldn't like touch the arm so it will be closed at all times. Fix that, I just push this forward and then push this up. So now you can move it, you know, up and then you have to keep it in the middle, but you can't push it all the way up or else you get uh, away from it again. So here's the uh, float bowl in it. And there's some tidy little sediments down there. But, uh, so I'll just clean that out and then I'll check up inside the carburetor. So this carburetor actually looks pretty good. I just blew out the jets a little bit, just maybe if there was some, uh, some gunk in there, so. Maybe that will help a little. What I'm doing is seeing if the fuel cables are clogged, so I'm just gonna have that pan under there and turn on the fuel. Now that's coming out. Came out really good too. These bolts tighten on. I wanna fix uh, the position of these fuel lines here because obviously gas cannot go up through that. All right guys, so I just uh, cut off a bunch of fuel line and it's definitely a lot better, but I just tried uh, kicking it and bump starting it. No luck at all. Not even, you know, not even, even sounding like it's about to turn over. All right guys, so it's the next morning and I was not giving up on this dirt bike. I just retried it and I just got it running for a second. I'll see if it'll start back up and I'll show you guys. It needs a throttle cable, so I just have like the old one. I just have to tug on it. So we'll see if it starts back up. Here we go guys. Well, it ran, so that's good, that's good. I'm so stoked. I'm so happy that this uh, started. Now I'm just gonna adjust the choke, make it actually functional. Right, we'll see if get it running again. pretty early so I don't want to still pretty early but I don't want to wake up anyone so I'll leave it for now and uh, I ordered a throttle cable for it but did it come in time so next time I see this definitely gonna be some riding or maybe I could I could try ride it like this that would be pretty sketchy with shifting and everything the kill switch doesn't work so I just have to uh, either just stall it out or uh, you know I'm take out the spark plug so this is good guys I'm super happy all right, so now with the dirt bike running good, now we're gonna put on the plastics. So we got the plastics on and this thing looks like a dirt bike now. So now all I really need is a, uh, oh my, this one just fell. Oh God, oh God. <laughs> Gotta put down the camera. Ugh, man, this thing's heavy. This thing's almost 200 pounds. Like 175, I think. This thing's definitely a lot heavier than mini bikes, that's for sure. But if I had my throttle cable, I would be doing motor vlogs. I even brought my helmet and the GoPro and everything. My whole motor vlog setup. I wish I was able to motor vlog. I could have been going through trails and just going down the dirt roads and all that. I think this thing will need a uh, clutch cable soon, or we'll just see. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please subscribe, like, comment, tell your friends about the channel. Thanks for watching.